This is Roger with Crosscut Auto Sales in Tucson, Arizona, formerly Wheel Kinetics. Please uh, check out our website, go to the blogs, there's an explanation of our name change. Basically we wanted to modern, modernize, update our website, uh, give it a better look, uh, and it's actually very cool. So please check out all of our blog posts when you go there. Uh, we're selling a 2006 F250, obviously a regular cab. It's a 5.4 liter gas V8. It's two wheel drive. It's an XLT, which is nice. So it'll have windows and locks, the whole bit. Power windows and locks. Uh, air conditioning, automatic. Has 143,487 miles. Um, it was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company, Oregon Mutual Insurance in Martinez, California, which is the uh, San Francisco Bay Area. It is on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. Basically, the insurance companies now uh, do not want to sell a vehicle uh, that's been stolen. Most, almost, probably 75% of them, they'll sell on a salvage title even though they're not wrecked because they don't want the liability. They don't want whoever buys it from uh, Crosscut uh, to sue them if something happens to them. So their way of divorcing the truck is by getting a salvage title. If they kept it on a clear title and sold to us, then we sold to you and something happened to you, obviously the insurance company has more money than Wheel Kinetics, so your lawyer might want to go sue them. Um, this is how they divorce the truck. Um, anyway, uh, I'll get to the process of how we get uh, to, to the point where you can drive it on a salvage title. It's called the restored salvage title, and that allows you to get plates and insurance and the whole bit. I'll explain that in a minute when we're driving it. Um, what this thing needed when it got here, first of all, it was a glass shop truck. You know, those it, just a glass shop probably had had a bunch of broken glass in the back. So when they stole it, they probably stole it from the glass, sh glass shop with windshields in the bed. Um, anyway, we took all the stickers off the doors and the tailgates for their shop. I think it was Klein, uh, Klein windshields or something. Um, the ignition was broken from the theft, the driver door handle and the lock cylinder. So we replaced the driver door handle, the driver door lock cylinder, the ignition. Uh, and we gave it a detail. Um, I will uh, walk around it. I'll show you what I see. I'll point at anything I see cosmetically. Now, frankly, it's a work truck. So cosmetics, we're not even concerned with those um, uh, on this truck. I will tell you this this box in the back, they obviously broke into it. Um, I had the, lo the uh, locksmith just latch it closed, but they broke the latch. So, I mean, you could reuse this box if you wanted. I left it in here. It's held in by four bolts at the bottom. If you want it out, obviously you can take it out. I thought maybe somebody might want it. You could put like a latch on the outside or something like that. But I left it for you in case you want it, okay? Um, but, uh, you know, stuff like this. This is a work truck, right? Um, there, the seat, when I get inside, I'll show you the seat. The seat's uh, outside seat bolster on the driver's seat. is a little torn up. But, uh, you know, there's really no point in adding money to this truck. It runs great. It has ice cold air. The windows and locks work. Mechanically, it's very sound. So we'll just leave it at that. Save you guys some money by not doing stuff to, you know, it doesn't really matter. So that's what we did. Uh, you can kind of see where we got the stickers off here. Well, my goal in these videos, the goal in every video and every ad we do, is not to tell you how great the truck is. It's to really make sure that whatever is wrong with it, you will know. And uh, uh, there's no secrets here. I do know in the Carfax, which I'll also show you in a minute, that uh, 2,000 miles ago, these tires were installed. So you got these uh, Firestones with probably 95% tread on them. So you got a lot of time left. As far as tires are concerned, you're good to go for quite some time. Anyway, uh, let's see, that's about that for walking around it. There's the top. As I said, there's your seat. We could have that stitched. A lot of times we haven't stitched. It looks like somebody's already done that once, but I don't think anyone's gonna care. 143,492 miles. Get the air conditioning going here, it's hot. It's already hot in Tucson. Although it's only 102 today, it's supposed to be 112 in a couple days. Once it gets back, well, 108, it starts getting ugly. It's almost there. All right, 
Here's your Carfax, there's your VIN. Um, basically Carfax blends the Kelly and the Carfax together and uh, they include the fact that it's got a salvage title due to theft. And they say, that, with that being the case, and the miles at 143, the value of this truck is $7,050, okay? Here's the, VIN, the Carfax itself, branded title, that's due to theft, I'll show you that here in a second. So it was born in the uh, San Francisco Bay Area, Woodland, California. Bum, 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 bum. Fremont, same thing. Bum, bum, bum. 140,669 miles, 7, 8 of 20. It got new tires. And 428 of 21 um, recovered after theft. Uh, inspection for damage, little or no damage. They give it a total loss vehicle. Total loss vehicle is a financial term. Uh, vandalism damage reported, that was the uh, ignition and the door lock, okay? Here is the title, this is the state of California title. There's the VIN, Oregon Mutual uh, took ownership of it. Uh, Oregon Mutual sold to Wheel Kinetics, which is now, of course, Crosscut. Um, 526 of 21. 143,487 miles okay by the way that's our new sign right there pretty cool um, let's see what else let's go into the hood here I like XLTs that have the the uh, vinyl floor too way better than carpet all right there's a uh, Ford stamp here so you know it's an original fender Ford stamp on the core support. 5.4 motor. Cat sticker where it belongs. Ford stamp there. Ford stamp there. And let's see, where's the Ford stamp? Oh, I can't find it. La 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 la. I think it's supposed to be right there. I think that's it right there. But on diesel, oh, there it is, right there. It's right there. Oh, got my eyes. I'm like, got a diesel truck set right there. I'm, had to be the same hood. Why can't I find it? All right, there's your window up and down, door lock. This seat looks like nobody's been in it. Good shape. Dun, dun, dun. If you just need a good work pickup, this would be it, right? This in great shape. All right, let me get some air conditioning here. And the last guy who was in this thing was tall. Because I'm up in the detail shop. Move that seat up about a foot. All right, so you got the tilt wheel. Let me tilt that down. Windshield wipers. Cruise control, which is kind of cool on this truck. Usually they don't have it in a work truck. Tobacco bomb. There's your radio, cup holder, center console. Let's see, what else? That's about it there. Turn that down a little bit so you can hear me. There's tow on and off. And it says door ajar. Perfect. All right, let's go for a ride. All right, this truck is being sold on a salvage title. We cannot issue plates and you can't get insurance on a salvage title. So what happens? We have to take it uh, to the cops and get what's called a level three inspection done. Um, once we have that level three inspection, we take the level three inspection itself and the salvage title and we get what's called a restored salvage title. Once we have that, we can issue plates so you can drive home and you can get insurance. Obviously, if you're gonna pick it up and drive it home, that's mandatory. You can't drive without even both of those, right? So, that's that, all right? Then, uh, we have a, a dock fee of $250 and we have taxes. So it's $200 to restore the title. It's $250 for, uh, for a uh, ugh, dock fee and then we have uh, taxes. Taxes are your state tax, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7%, and 
and a $250 dock fee. So your taxes would go, so your deal, if you come here and pick it up, is your state tax plus our city tax, $250 dock fee, and $200 to restore the title. If you're gonna pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're obligated to pay is agreed upon price. There's no tax, there's no dock fee. Uh, once we receive full payment by wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, scan it into your online file and mail it to you. Um, we even scan in the envelope, we mail it in. Now, if you are gonna pay by wire and ship, and you want us to restore the title first, we will add, let us know at the beginning of the transaction, um, and we will uh, get the title restored, and we'll, we'll add $200 to the deal to do that. And uh, once we get it restored, we will uh, fill it out to you and mail it to you, okay? Um, if you need help with shipping, please let me know early in the tra transaction. Once we uh, 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 are paid for it, we want you to have your truck ASAP, and so do you, right? So if you need help, let us know early. Um, we can roll the price of the shipping into the vehicle's price. Um, we can do the shipping for you. Um, or we just give you some phone numbers to call, but obviously we want you to have your truck as uh, quickly as you want to have it, okay? And I'm pretty good at shipping, so if you need help, let me know early. Um, deposits $500, once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for uh, sale. Get the deposit in, all right? Last part of every video, I say the same thing that I have for whew, 13 years, and it's really boring, and if I was smart, I'd have a recording and just hit play. Um, we don't have salesmen. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a fancy location um, with fountains and perfect pavement and blah, blah, blah. We don't have an attendant serving scones and lattes. All that stuff's about a half a mile east of exact, right where we're at, the auto mall, all right? Well, they have all that stuff to offer. That means they have to pay for that stuff. That's why they have to charge you a, a lot more money for a vehicle than we do. Um, they also know that if they sold you this truck and something broke, that you would um, bring it in and say, fix my truck. And they should because they charged you a fortune for it. Um, well, when they sell you a truck, they build in six or $700 in, uh, in uh, future repairs, just in case, into the price of the vehicle, okay? So, uh, knowing that, okay, uh, you know, uh, you're probably paying, eh, gosh, I don't know, 40, 30% more to them than to us to pay for all that crap, the salesman and the location and the blah and the blah and the blah and the future repairs. We're not uh, charging you for, free, for, uh, for future repairs because we are not going to fix your truck. This is your truck on day one and we are not fixing it, okay? Um, it runs great, it shifts great, it's got almost brand new tires on it. Air's blowing ice cold. In fact, it's really nice air conditioning. Um, but it will break. Every single vehicle on the road will break. I saw a Porsche with a, a brand new Porsche come off a shipping truck with 19 miles on it with a rod knock. Never thought I'd ever see that before, but I did. Um, so every vehicle you see around you, you know, will have, will break. If this breaks and it's day one, fix it with your money. You just saved a bunch of money buying from us because of the title um, uh, and because you're buying from us and you don't, we don't have all the bills they do. Take that money and buy whatever it's, you know you need to fix it. This truck is not gonna break if you don't screw it up. Take care of it, it'll be fine. But, you know, who knows, you never know. I'm not Nostradamus. If, uh, you know, I wanna check the mirrors too. If, uh, you know, a mirror goes or a power window goes or the radio decides to take crap or, or you know even if it needs an injector or something like that you know you've saved a bunch of money so use your money that you saved to fix it um, anyway hell of a truck a very nice truck I like this truck if you just need a plain work truck with cold air automatic shifts runs good um, doesn't really need anything at all uh, this would be it all right thank you for your time